today's tutorial i'll be going over my top three favorite ai websites for music video editors basically how you use them and their use cases basically all ai websites are good at different things and that's what i'll be going through in this one so let's get right into it the first one and one of my favorite ones is ltx.studio and i've made a bunch of videos on this one it's just super easy to use and you can create a lot of stuff with it i just want to say quickly that i'm not sponsored of any of these websites but i'll be using the generate images tab right here actually what i'll do is open up ChatGPT. And here I'll just tell you that I want an AI prompt for ltx.studio. So this is the prompt that it gave me. So I'll just copy this and paste it in, uh, in ltx.studio. And I'll just paste the prompt in here and let's see what we get. So right here we got a bunch of different results. And the ones that I like the most are like these two. So I'll save these two and let's create a couple more, but I want to change the prompt a little bit. So I'll tell ChatGPT, like, can you change so we can get a rainy background? Yeah, just like that. And then I'll paste that into the AI and see what we get this time. So we got a bunch of results once again. So I'll just download these ones. So I just told ChatGPT that I want a like a top down 180 degree shot. So I'll just paste this prompt in here because I got these shots from the side, which is not what I want. So I'll just tell it to have it like flat. And now we got a little bit of a better result like this one right here. I'll save it and you don't need more than like six of them to be honest but you can grab how many you want and now that i'm done with that i'll just drag all of these into my premiere pro timeline and just like this and then i'll make them like each let's do like two or three frames long just like this and then delete and then ripple delete to get it back let's do two frames for each of them and then i'll just create a pretty quick match cut effect so this is what it looks like after i just dragged all of them in it's clean, but one thing that you got to do with these match cut effects is just center all of these. So I'll drag it over to the next scene and then go up to effects right here and lower down the opacity to some low number. Let's lower it down to like 50 and then I'll select the clip underneath, zoom it in and just line them up correctly. Just like this, just as good as you possibly can. And after you've done that, you don't need to do much else except for turning up the opacity, of course, uh, right here. And then I'll do the same just really quickly for all of these uh, pictures. And then we can just loop it basically. This one was already pretty centered, so I don't got to do anything with that one. Uh, so I'll just jump right into this one, turn the opacity down to 50. And then for the one on the bottom, I'll scale it up just like that, move it up. And now it's pretty, pretty similar. And that's pretty much it. Now the effect is basically done. So all I got to do now is copy all of these frames, paste them a bunch of times, and now it's looping. So we got a sick match cut going on. And I made this in like five minutes. No, I'm exaggerating. Maybe like six minutes. That's basically how I like to use the LTX Studio AI. And let's get right into the next one. Yo, real quick before we get into the next one, I just want to say that I just launched my first After Effects plugin, the VFX kit, and it includes over 150 effects that you can see a preview of before you apply with just one click. I've used this plugin a lot recently and it's a crazy time saver. And for the launch of this plugin, I'll be running it buy one get one free. So when you add this plugin to your cart, you can grab any of my other preset packs for completely free. So you don't want to miss out on it. I'll leave the link in the description, but let's keep going. Now the second AI that I'll be using is this Halo AI. And basically what I'll be doing with this one is importing an image and then I'll type out a prompt like some crazy gore. I'm sure you've seen them on like TikTok and then it will basically create it for me. So here in Premiere Pro, I got a clip and basically i'll just export one frame from it so i'll change the format to png and then just export it out and now that it's exported out i'll open up the halo.ai and just import my image or actually i'll tell ChatGPT to give me give me a gore blood prompt of a guy getting shot something like that so just like that then i copy this prompt and paste it in here and generate a video so right now the prompt is loading and let's see what we get when it's done. Okay, so this is the result that I got. And I'll be honest, this was a little bit too dramatic. I think it did a little bit too much. So I would recommend going with like a little bit more of a simple prompt. Something like guy getting shot and explodes into blood. Something like this. And it took me a while to create this. So I'll just generate this and then I'll hop right into the next one. And we'll come back to this in a second and see what it's done. And Runaway AI is probably one of the most famous ones because because you can just do a lot of things in it. Like, for example, these are my recent uh, generations that I made. 
as you can see it's a really crazy explosion going on in the background and the focus kind of shifts from my subject onto the background so it's just a crazy ai i'll be honest and you can do a bunch of things with it i'll go through it a little bit but it's essentially just the same thing as the other ais i just opened up chat gpt told it to write me a prompt and it basically just wrote me this prompt that you can see in here cinematic warzone blah 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 so using ChatGPT with these AI websites is actually what gives me these good results. So I recommend that you keep doing that. But let's open up the, this one is still loading. So I'll show you guys what this one did when it's done. And this is what I got from my second prompt. It's a little bit slow here in the start, but right as you can see here, we get something crazy. And it splashes onto the car as well. That's actually sick. So I'm really happy with this one. And I mean, the possibilities are literally endless. So go ahead, go crazy and use these AI websites as much as you want. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you watched this far, thank you so much for watching. If you didn't, thank you anyway. And like I said, the buy one get one free is active on my site for the launch of my new plugin. So if you want to check it out, I'll have it linked at the top of the description. But thank you so much once again, and I'll see you in the next one.